this is JJ DiGeronimo, the president of Tech Savvy Women and Purposeful Woman. And today I am with an extraordinary woman in STEM, Ichi Lin. Hi, Ichi. Hi, JJ. How are you? Not only did you get your master's in electrical and computer uh, science, you actually started working at the university. And then it looks like you uh, had an opportunity to work for the National Science Foundation. Yes, that was very exciting. Um, I obtained my bachelor's degree and I actually worked um, for an aerospace company um, for about a year. And then I decided I want something more exciting. So I joined the Neuromorphic Engineering Lab um, at the University of Arizona and um, I pursued a graduate degree there. And part of what I did was that I tried to interface living organism to robotic platforms and try to kind of use that natural living organism processing power to power a man-made system. So um, that was really cool. And um, I actually applied for a grant to go to Japan for three months and work with foreign researchers on this project. So that was, that was really cool and interesting. Wow. I mean, it just, you just have the confidence to just go out there and go for it. What have you learned along the way through these processes of really sort of raising your hand and uh, asking for these types of opportunities? I'm a strong believer in putting yourself in unfamiliar situations. For example, um, when I was in graduate school, one day I just thought, hey, I'll take Japanese. So I started taking Japanese and I took it for a couple of years. And, you know, that was actually kind of a stepping stone for me to apply for this grant in Japan because I thought, hey, I know a little bit of Japanese. Why don't I just throw myself out there and see what happens? And it was a really great experience. That is excellent and just great for girls and women that, you know, are afraid to take that step. It sounds like sometimes you don't know you're going to get it and you might not have all the criteria, but you raised your hand anyways, you filled out the application. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go for it. You know, I, I think there are mo no mistakes in life. You know, whatever happens, happens and it's going to be all part of your experience. So I would say for everybody out there, not just girls, just for everybody, whatever you want to do you know, go for it. Um, when I was um, in my freshman year and sophomore year in college, I thought I would go for pre-med. And I was actually working as a lab assistant at the um, Arizona Cancer Center for three summers. And that didn't work out. It wasn't a good fit for me. But, you know, that was part of the experience. So, you know, I have no complaints. I think that's awesome advice because so many people try to fudge themselves into situations because they think they should be there. And it's nice that you have the self-awareness to say, you know, this isn't a good fit for me. I'm going to try a different route. And it looks like you've done that many times in your career, looking at your LinkedIn profile and getting to know you. You have taken a lot of different career steps to get where you are today. Yes. And I think that's just part of my personality, too. Um, try to put myself in different situations and, and different challenges and trying out different things to see what you like. So, um, you know, at the end of my graduate career, I just thought engineering, you know, hardcore engineering is probably not quite the right fit for me. And I don't want to be sitting at my desk programming or designing circuits. I really would like more interaction with people. So um, that's how it got me to where I am today and what I do. Right. And so today you're a client technical uh, executive and strategist, and it allows you to work more with the customer and the end user. Yes, definitely. So what I do is um, I work with my sales reps in recommending different products and solutions to our clients to address their IT needs. And um, it, it's really fun. So I just love it. I love the fact that you were uber technical and then you moved into writing, you know, you were working with different grants, you had opportunities to go overseas and you've continued to become self-aware to find the right place for you, which is now in front of the customer and end user. So thank you for sharing that journey. Sure. No problem. And any last words of advice for women that are considering to go into STEM or looking to change careers into STEM? Um, I would say, you know, gain as much experience as possible early on in your career. Maybe if you're in high school, take, take as many different classes as you want. You know, some high schools offer computer science classes and there are some advanced AP classes. You know, just try different things out and kind of try to discover yourself. And in college and after you start working, I would say networking. And mentoring is really important. 
Thank you so much for joining us. And for this and other STEM interviews of great women in STEM, visit our YouTube channel, JJD Geronimo. Thank you so much for joining us.